y equals x plus 2 has infinitely many solutions. y equals x plus 4 also has infinitely many solutions. How many solutions do they share? In this lesson, you will examine systems of equations with no solutions by looking at the lack of intersections on a graph. Let's review. The difference of two numbers is two. We can translate that to an equation with two variables and write it as y minus x equals two. To graph all the possible solutions for this situation, we can rearrange the equation to read y equals x plus two. We can find x and y values by setting up a table. Choose any x values and find y values that make the equation true. Using these x and y values, plot the points and connect them with a line. Remember that there is an infinite number of solutions for this equation, shown by every point on this line, so we can draw an arrow at each end. The line shows all the pairs of numbers that have a difference of two. A common misunderstanding is that a system of equations in two variables has an infinitely many solutions. As you can see with this graph, each line which represents an equation displays an infinite amount of solutions. The system of equations, however, does not have an infinite amount of solutions unless the lines lie on top of one another. Therefore, a system of equations has one, more than one, or no solutions. Let's take another look at the same system of equations in two variables. We can represent the solutions of each equation on a graph. This line on the graph shows the sum of a bunch of numbers and two. This line shows the sum of a bunch of numbers and four. How many numbers fit both? By looking at the graph, there are no points of intersection. These lines are parallel and therefore never meet. This means they will never share any points. What does that mean for the system of equations? Is there another way to write the system? We can set the expressions x plus 2 and x plus 4 equal to each other since both expressions are equal to y. This says the sum of a number in 2 is equal to the sum of a number in 4. Let's solve this equation that we just created by setting the expressions equal to each other and see what happens. As we solve the equation, we see that 0 does not equal 2. If we add 2 to a number, we will never get the same answer if we add 4 to that same number. This is interesting seeing that we found no points of intersection for the lines we drew from the equations. Since there was no x value when we solved the equation and there was no point of intersection, this means there are no solutions that will satisfy both equations. This system of equations in two variables has no solution. Let's consider a different system of equations in two variables. We can represent the solutions of each equation on a graph. This line on the graph shows the product of a number and two. This line shows the sum of twice a number and five. How many numbers fit both? By looking at the graph, there are no points of intersection. These lines are parallel and never meet. Therefore, they never share any points. What does that mean? Let's set up an equation using the two expressions that equal y. This says twice a number is equal to the sum of twice a number and five. When we solve the equation, we see that zero does not equal five. It appears that there is no solution to this system of equations. This makes sense seeing how there are no points of intersection for the lines we drew from the equations. This system of equations in two variables has no solution. In summary, sometimes we are unable to find a solution to a system of equations because there is no point of intersection on the graph. 
This means that the system of equations in two variables has no solutions that will satisfy both equations. In this lesson, you examined systems of equations with no solutions by looking at the lack of intersections on a graph.